1863, a cold war was raging between two systems of medicine, homeopathy and allopathy. Dr. Mahendra Lal Sarkar was asked to speak in an annual meeting held by the British Medical Association denouncing homeopathy as quackery. Seated in the audience was Rajendra Lal Datta, a renowned homeopath who later met and spoke with Dr. Sarkar and encouraged him to research more into homeopathy, which he did and over the next several years, he decided it was superior to the system of medicine which he practiced. When the same meeting was held again, Dr. Sarkar was asked to speak. But this time, instead of denouncing homeopathy, he spoke highly of it, which led to him being kicked out of the association and being stripped of his medical license. That didn't stop him though. Not only did he become a homeopath himself, he became the champion of homeopathy in India. This was only the start of events that would make homeopathy extremely popular. But why is it so popular though? I'm on the way to a shop that sells homeopathic medicines near my house to buy something. Okay. Well, that didn't go as planned. I don't know what I was thinking having that conversation, but anyway, I got what I went there for. Homeopathic medicine is ineffective. Don't take my word for it, read these studies. But I don't want this video to focus on why homeopathy happens to be ineffective. There are plenty of videos right here on YouTube that do just that. I want to add to the discussion. I want to talk about why homeopathy is very popular. And if I believe a word of what I say, then this should have no effect on me. Here's an entire bottle of uh, sleeping pills that I bought from the shop. very sweet okay over the course of this video if anything happens to me you'll know during world war ii an american doctor named henry beecher ran out of the painkiller morphine out of desperation he began giving his soldiers a saline solution which is just salt and water but he continued telling them that he was giving them morphine to his surprise, nearly 40% of soldiers reported feeling better. Whenever anything is given to a patient, he or she might experience a relief of symptoms not because the substance or treatment being given has any clinical effect, but because of the belief that they're getting care. This is known as the placebo effect and whatever is being given is called a placebo. And homeopathy thrives because of the placebo effect. People report feeling better not because of any medical effect, but because of the placebo effect. How do I know that homeopathic medicine is just a placebo? Because extreme dilution is one of their core tenets. Homeopathic medicine is made by mixing the active substance with a solution several times. For instance, this bottle says 30C. What that means is one part of the active substance is mixed with 100 power 30 parts of the solution. This level of extreme dilution means that to find one molecule of medicine, you'll have to look through 10 billion Earths worth of these. If that doesn't mean it's inactive, I don't know what does. And I'm not surprised by this. When a German named Samuel Hahnemann first came up with the idea of homeopathy, we did not understand molecules. We didn't know that such levels of extreme dilution would remove every single molecule from the solution. Now you might ask me, fine, there might not be any medical effect, but there is a placebo effect, which is beneficial. So why not just take it? 
because we don't understand the mechanism of the placebo effect and that's bad because that makes the placebo effect unpredictable it's not reliable so a doctor should never prescribe placebo as medication to a patient as a treatment and even though homeopathy had its origins in germany germany and many other countries are moving away from it while we in india have our government embracing homeopathy when i was little around 8 years old i remember i had a swelling somewhere here and we thought it might be mumps so we went to a homeo doctor my mom took me there and uh, the doctor gave me medicines for this and my mom also got herself uh, pills for her bp and both the meds were in identical looking white bottles with no uh, labels on them and the pills inside were also identical so naturally when we got home my mom accidentally mixed them up and she was very worried because she didn't know what she do if she went back but finally she did go back to the doctor and told her that she mixed them up accidentally and this is what happened the doctor calmly took the meds from her went inside and brought two new bottles and gave it to her free of cost and i was like what the f- just happened <laughs> um i knew immediately that there was something fishy going on here and my mom on the other hand she happily took the meds because they were kind of expensive and she got them free of cost so she took them went back home and we continue using them now i don't blame my mother for um, not seeing through this because her generation was never encouraged to look look at things critically to think scientifically i know many people who have a very simplistic view of medicine you are sick you go to a doctor and you come out all better they don't care what happens here for them it might as well be just magic when you have a very simplistic view of the world like this you leave yourself open to be taken advantage of by fraudsters like astrologers fortune tellers god men faith healers they can rob you of your hard earned money and this sort of lack of scientific temper is something i see a lot in india and that's what allows something like homeopathy to thrive here homeopathy has come a long way in india since the days of dr sarkar today it's a 26000 crore rupee industry that's supported by the government and the tax payers money the government has an entire ministry for supporting unscientific medicine the h n i stands for homeopathy and there are hundreds of chains of homeopathy all over india now i don't like getting too political on my channel but sometimes i have to cast your votes in a way that doesn't support this kind of sham now you might ask me okay homeopathy might be a placebo but that makes it harmless right i mean it might not do anything beneficial but it's not doing anything harmful right in july 2020 my friend datta prasad tweeted this he lost his father who was taking the homeopathic remedy thinking that it would protect him from covid-19 i got on call with him what is the sequence of events like what happened like right from the beginning how did he get into um, you know the meds that you were talking about my dad was uh, getting uh, all those forwards which i was receiving on alt news that uh, this is a fake news mm-hmm. and the next time i communicate with my parents they have completely bought that fake news one of the whatsapp forwards was that arsenicum album uh, will give you some kind of immunity for covid virus uh, he says so i have taken arsenicum album i have done i have taken all the precautions that needed to be taken on july 21st i received message at night that dad has been hospitalized he has not been responding well this is night of july 21st and on july 22nd i received that 
uh, he has died. Uh, I come here, I try to piece together the events after the uh, nine minutes of lights. Uh, turns out there was a party organized by his friends. In that party, again, I can't confirm if my father got uh, COVID from that very party, but I can confirm that in that party, uh, two people were diagnosed with COVID. Even after that, even after my father's death, mm. uh, a large part of my uh, family and extended circles uh, haven't changed their opinion about homeopathy or any sort of alternate medicine. Mostly people die in hospitals getting modern care. Mm -hmm. So for them, there is much more immediate connection between modern medicine and death of a person. And it is much easier for them to blame modern medicine for the death of the person. And malpractices of hospitals don't help. The prices also don't help. In general, how can a person be more scientific? So being scientific is being open to idea that you are wrong. And it is almost liberating to be that way. Mm -hmm. That, hey, I don't have to carry the burden of being correct all the time. Yeah. There are thousands of cases like those of Data, where people are deceived by bold claims made by homeopathic clinics in the country and robbed of their health and their money. The only way that you can protect yourself from shams like these is by improving your critical thinking. And my channel is dedicated to exactly that, to making people more scientifically aware. If you like my content, consider subscribing. Now this is the end of the video and nothing has happened to me so far and the stunt that I pulled in the beginning is something that's done by the late great James Randi in talks he gives about homeopathy. You should watch those videos if you haven't. I'll see you next time. Till then, stay rational and remember, science is dope.